Hey everyone, Magic Lover coming at you. I haven't recorded a lot lately, um, not to get too personal, but basically work has been crazy and uh, vacation and a bunch of things, so I really haven't been able to produce as much material lately as normal. Uh, doing a little something different today. Still want to work on my Ulasht uh, deck. I just, you know, it's a lot of fun, not ultra competitive, but, you know, definitely a theme based deck with lots of Hydras and some general good green stuff, so, you know, between ramp and card selection and hate and different things. So it is a primarily green deck, a little red for some of the saucier bits, but, um, you know, Ulasht is, uh, is fun, can be a, a fun little critter, um, not the most powerful, but uh, definitely a neat dude. Um, Got to pick up a couple cards. One of them that I've got my my eye on is this guy, uh, Hardened Scales. Certainly no doubling season, but in this deck it works almost as it because uh, except for the comes into play, which will add one, which most of the time won't be double, but is still good value. A lot of the effects that add one can be done one at a time, so there it is, doubling season, and it's one green mana, so. If I can drop this on turn one, things look pretty good. And then, of course, to continuing the Hydra theme, uh, this guy will go in here too. Fun little neat flavor on a Hydra. Um, you know, something that uh, when it dies, kind of spits out lots of lots of snakes, and uh, can definitely have some fun with morphing and different stuff. So, anyway, another interesting little dude. To, uh, to, to play with. That'll go in my Hydra deck very shortly. And last but not least, I think this might be making it into the deck as well, just as a, as a good value-added way. I mean, I don't know because many of my dudes are, are X, um, but it is pretty creature-heavy, so we'll see. There, there, there may be a chance at this. I mean, eight cards is eight cards. The mana is usually not an issue with green ramp. So, you know, and Ferocious is usually met with this deck, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see this one might enter as well. Then also on a general side note, um, yeah, I can, I can see playing this a lot. I mean, I tend to play one-on-one -on -one EDH simply because, you know, four-player just takes too long. I don't have the hour and a half to put into it on average, so I do tend to play shorter games, but... Since you play a lot of blue or mono blue in one-on-one, uh, -on -one, this would be a real fun thing to have and force them to deal with it, because mono blue loves their extra turns, and this would be a fun one. Um, anyway, uh, that might be making it into the deck as well. So, on to some games. So, going up against... Uh, Sneak this in here. There we go. Uh, is this the right size? Oop. Uh, there we go. Shatter Gang Brothers. Who do we got here? Yep. John, those are those are tough to deal with. Um, one, two, three, yeah. I'll keep it. No ramp, which is about the only downside. But otherwise, lots of good stuff. Not sure. Should be able to fetch out our stomping grounds. Come on, not what I was looking for. On lots of beasties. Uh, 
lots of beasties. So it looks like, unfortunately, we might have a 1-1 Savage Born, which is somewhat pathetic. But it does tend to draw a fair amount of removal, since it can do pretty crazy things. Grown that in a few games quite absurdly. Makes combat pretty tough, and with the add stuff to it all the time, makes it pretty effective. since I'm not worried about losing it forever. The Brothers. I could beast within this. But if he wants to kill this, he's going to have to do it. So, ooh, nope. He doesn't have an enchantment, and that one's too good to pass up. I really want to hit that fourth land drop next turn, so, um, and make that a 2-2. A so library it is. No 1-1 one, one Hydra. Hero's Bane. It's another one that can get out of control quickly. One of my new recent additions to my decks. Fun little pickup. Lantern, sure. What do we got? Spasm? Yeah, this guy's hit the ramp that I haven't. So hopefully he's not too far ahead. But. Obviously, uh, it's going to be a deck based around lots of tokens to keep creatures under control, right? I would imagine. So when I roll out anything, it's going to uh, well, at least we got to land. Uh, oh, we got three lands. Okay. Um, let's. I think, um, mm, uh, I don't want him to regenerate it. So I'm going to hit this now. Force him to recast. Not optimal. I don't know if that's the right play, but... He's got 8, he can recast it, I'm not worried about it, but at least he can't just uh, kill the first thing without any consequence. And I wanted to get it before Yavimaya, Yavimaya Hollow was open. Michaeloth, sure. That thing is pretty awesome. One of my favorites. What two fresh ones do we have down here? Uh, vegetation, I like that. Okay. So let's... Top... I don't really need Oran Reef right now. So I'm going to play that. And I'm going to go explosive. I kind of need to be able to start dropping multiple threats. 
So my cloth is going to get a little ugly, a little quick. Full return, and yeah, it's going to get going to get nasty. Makes me wish I had that back. Committed the, the cardinal rule. Don't kill something that's not killing you. Uh, I need to pick up a tutor. <laughs> Maybe a gaze cradle. Something I tend to tutor for very quickly when I've got Michaeloth pumping out a lot of dudes. Beastmaster. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're most definitely in trouble. A lot of dudes. Not a lot of ways to deal with him. Yep. Pause for station ID. <clears throat> it at least doesn't go online next turn, which is great. And, ooh. Do I have enough for... Nope, okay. Um, I actually want the land here. Hmm. I think I go with... I think I go with a maxed out Savage Born, since I can at least kill the Michaeloth. Do 12 to it, even if I lose it. Mm, means I'll have to keep that up. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Counters, I might have wanted to go with that, because then regenerating it doesn't do as much since I get to take the counters off. Hmm. Still going to get four counters on that. It's five. Yeah. I'm in deep trouble. So I definitely should have cast that. Shutter button, like, always click yes. Force him to regen this. I'm actually just going to go at one of these. I'm going to uber kill one of the saplings. This ought to be cute. I think I would have beast within this just because it's the only prayer I have of finding an answer. It's got me lethal next turn, obviously, unless I find the answer, so I'd, I think it would have killed anything that let me dig deeper. And I don't get it, so... Um, it's not going to really matter. I'm just going to plop down... a Hydra. And eat it. It's 
So this one did not go the way we expected. Um, didn't get any ramp. One piece of removal which I squandered and um, unfortunately we drew lots of critters but no real good way to, to use them. So we're dead. Yeah, 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 come on. <laughs> so only 800 is going to get through. What can you do?